Hello everyone, this is Red Racer again, and today I just want to go over some news articles I found interesting for the Nintendo Switch. So let's jump right in. Okay, so the first article I found, and these are going in, in no particular order. I'm just covering them as I saw them. Report. Nintendo Switch passes 1.5 million consoles sold. And this is from Polygon.com. Link in description, just like always. All the articles will be down in the description. So basically this article says that Nintendo sold 1.5 million Switches in the first week. They break it down to 500,000 in USA and in Japan 360,000. And they said that EU, um, the European Union, uh, was close to also um, the numbers in Japan. So basically another 350,000 maybe. So that's 1.1 million. Um, so I guess basically the, all the other ones were sold elsewhere. Um, maybe South America, I don't know. But um, yeah, so even if you get 360 and 360, that's uh, 720 plus 500,000 in USA. That's 1.2 million. So I don't know where the other ones come into play. Uh, but yeah, so 1.5 million uh, million consoles sold. And the uh, article oh, also what? states that, that they sold more than the Wii in the similar period. However, I would like to emphasize that that means nothing. The real test is how well it's it's um, being shipped and sold six months down the line to a year, you know. Um, I remember with the Wii U, it was sold out for a while, and the Wii was sold out for a while, so you couldn't really get it. Um, that really frustrated me, so I never got those. Um, but now I did pre-order mine, so I got mine, my Nintendo Switch. So I'm happy about that. Hopefully they can keep this momentum going, you know. Uh, keep selling Switches, maybe get some more third-party support. That'd be great. Okay, next article. This one is called How Nintendo Switch Made Gaming Accessible to the Blind or to Blind Players. This is from a website called Konbini. K O N B I N I. Uh, so basically, they talk about this uh, legally blind uh, gamer, James Rath, who uploaded a video to YouTube. Um, and he was trying to show off the HD rumble system, basically. He was playing 1-2-Switch. And in the article, he just states this. I'm a legally blind gamer and oh, recently shit. purchased the Switch along with 1-2-Switch. So I also got together with a friend of mine who's been totally blind since birth. And it was the first time he was able to experience a mainstream Nintendo game. That's pretty cool. Um, I also do remember remember reading another article about how this blind gamer passed, uh, I think it was the original Legend of Zelda, and like it took him like five years or so, I, I forgot exactly. But yeah, so that was pretty cool. If I remember about that article, I'll put that in the description as well. Uh, he goes on to say, I'm not sure if making the gameplay accessible to the blind was intentional for Nintendo or not, but they managed to pull it off and it was a lot of fun. And this is great. That's that's good that they're trying to make um well I don't like yeah, he's right. I don't know if they did try to do that, but that's great that um, blind people can play video games. Um, usually we're all uh, graphics horse and FPS horse or so we all care about how good the game looks. But obviously these people can take advantage of that, but they were still able to have fun. So that was pretty cool. I, don't know, I thought I think that's that's really neat. So even if you have a blind friend or are yourself blind, you can still enjoy um, Nintendo Switch uh, somewhat. Hopefully, they'll come out with more games that don't really require you to be looking at a screen. So hopefully, that can happen too. Okay, next article. The Nintendo Switch could be the perfect indie machine. And this is from TheVerge.com. 
Um, so basically they say that the company has signed several time exclusive deals with developers that will see hit um, that platform first. So basically they released the game on the Nintendo Switch for a little bit and then they can move on to other platforms like maybe Steam or um, whatever else. Uh, in the article you can read that it says Shovel Knight's new prequel chapter is exclusive to Switch for a month and upcoming titles like SteamWorld Dig 2, Graceful Explosion Machine, Runner 3, and Retro City Rampage follow-up Shakedown Hawaii will all launch on Nintendo's console before anywhere else. I'm looking forward to SteamWorld Dig 2. I just bought the, the first one or, or a fistful of, of dirt on my 3DS and it's actually really fun. It's, it's a very simple game. Um, the 3D graphics look nice in it. Very easy platformer, very easy concept. Um, it's nicely made. I'll, I might give a review about it later, but so far I'm enjoying it. Next article. The Nintendo Switch is 10 times more powerful than an iPad. Uh, and that's from Fortune.com. And so they say that it's 10 times more powerful than your average iPad. I'm not really sure what that really means. Um, because if you take the average of an iPad, that means that people that are still using the old iPad, you know, the original, and they're using the, first, the newest one, and you average the speed up, I, I don't know what exactly. They're very vague on it. But basically, they tear it down, and they give praise to Nintendo for how they designed the hardware. And so in the article, you can read that it says, Switch uses a squashed copper tube filled with coolant. Coupled with a small radiator and fan to prevent the device oh, from overheating. Finally. And nice. even playing fast RMX, I can tell you that it got <laughs> a little warm. And if you put your hand over the vent, you can heal, you can feel warm air escaping. Uh, and the article continues. The Mind Tribe folks, which is the guys that did the teardown, were also impressed by how well Nintendo cramped its device processor, budget board, and other critical components inside such a small footprint. And actually, if you look at the at the teardown for an Xbox One S, it's not that much bigger than the Nintendo Switch. The only wow. things that make it really a lot sure bigger are the power supply, that, which is internal, the deep, uh, Blu-ray disc drive, and the uh, hard drive. An actual, I think it's a 2.5 inch hard drive. So if you, um, so it's not that much uh, bigger. Just by that I mean just um, the circuit board and the main components. Um, obviously, the Nintendo Switch has nowhere near the same capabilities as the uh, Xbox One. But uh, eliminating a hard drive, a disk drive, and the power supply here actually do make a console a lot smaller. Okay, so the, the article goes on to say. The Switch marks a huge success not only as a desirable product, but also realizing they should focus on what they do best, marrying innovative interfaces with tired, a tried and true game control design. And they even say that the USB-C is um, spot welded on with a lot of components. So, there you go. Um, oh. And then one last article I want to mention is uh, how you can get a web browser kind of on oh, your Nintendo that. Switch. And I have tried this personally and it does work. Um, so the article is how to access hidden internet or web browsing feature on Nintendo Switch. And this article is, I, is from ibtimes.sg, um, link in the description really hard to find actually it took me a while I read it once and then I had to go back and look for it for a good 10 minutes before I could find it again um, so basically what they tell you to do is you manually set the DNS and the web app with things you need to register log in to your own network and it pops up a little um, web app with a little box with the web uh, web page address in it so you know how when you're at Starbucks and you want to connect to their Wi-Fi um, you get a little screen that says, you know, accept and connect, right? So basically this makes the switch think it needs to do that. 
But since you don't, you're already online, and you and they have uh, they have pictures in the article, and I have done this, and I was able to do that, <laughs> and hopefully I will remember to put a picture of my switch with a web browser. It's very uh, very crude actually. So the only real website that looked good was Facebook and YouTube. Um, so if you go to Yahoo, it doesn't look that good. Um, but I'll show you. Uh, a screenshot so yeah so that's basically it thank you for listening let me know if you guys find these articles interesting or send me other articles that you find interesting and i can talk about it on my next video i do want to do this more often i have been lagging it with the nintendo videos lately or not the game before two weeks ago i was lagging it I'm just showing the fact about two gameplay so hopefully i can keep going with this i have a little bit more time now so yeah, so thank you very much. I'll catch you on my next video. Bye.